Yo guys, what's up? It's Orange here. I'm playing MindZ2 again on Minecraft, and um, it's been a while. I haven't recorded MindZ2 in a bit, but today I have a, I have a special thing for you guys. I'm going to show you where, um, where I like to get my health pots at, and the best place to get health pots at anywhere in the world of MindZ2. Anywhere in the amazing world of MindZ2. But uh, I also want to do a short update, I guess, today. Because um, I've been asked a bunch if I'm going to be doing uh, MindZ2 videos anymore. And if I'm done with Shotbo, if uh, what I plan to be doing. So I've pretty much just gotten bored of MindZ2. It's not really that fun to me anymore. So I'm not really sure what to do about that. I'm also just generally bored of Minecraft. If you've seen my latest video I posted a day or two ago, it was a completely different game. So this is where you help out at, but there's a place past this. I know all of you guys thought that was going there. You're like, oh, Orange, he's an idiot, making a, making a video that everyone knows about. But nah, I'm going back here, <laughs> a place that many of you have probably never been to, and a place that neither of you have even seen before. It's uh, it's really cool, actually. What's with all these houses? I'm on PVE right now because it's just easier to record. I've already gotten asked, like, people are all like, oh, whoa, it's Orange. Orange is playing Mind Z2 again? Yeah. <laughs> I decided to come on and give you guys uh, some, uh, some things that I've been keeping from you. So if you keep walking past this way, uh, past this pine tree, just this random pine tree in the middle of the forest or middle of the tundra, not forest. It should be a forest, but there's just one pine tree, so whatever. If you keep coming back this way and over this mountain here doo, doo, doo. oh yeah um I will uh, I'll continue doing mind Z2 videos as soon as they start updating the game and there's just more more stuff for me to do because I'm not really a big fan of PvP I just did it in the first place because of the people I was playing with I sort of had fun but it's it's meh now I'm not really enjoying PvP here it is though this place right here spawns iron and health pots. Here are the cords. Look at the mini map. Positive 1,450, positive 3,800. So, got me some iron boots, some arrows. Let's go down here. Two health twos. Eh. One health two. Drink. A splash. Another health two. Um, another health two. <laughs> uh, health two. And two more health two splashes. Okay, so as you guys can see, this place is the bomb from forgetting health twos and iron two, really, surprisingly, even if you guys don't think it is, but this place is really awesome. I'm gonna have to like look through that and see if I want to keep those grenades. But if you oh but yeah, watch out, Forsaken and Pigment spawn down there. Stupid zombie, give me slowness. But Pigmen and Forsaken spawn down here, and you can get more grenades, and chain is relatively easy to come by if you come down here, but it's mostly just iron and health pots and arrows, which is awesome. Also, golden apples spawn up there quite frequently, so that's how I've got this one in my inventory. Just a little bit ago, I found it. But, um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, I hope that helped out all of you, really, since MindZ2 is a big PvP game, PvP-oriented game, and health pots are just generally good to have. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this. So I usually get like an inventory full of health pots in like three trips, two if I get the tower as well. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and um, peace out.